Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to the ballet bar. There's a one hour bar with me. My name is Rin Chao Du. I'm the artistic director of Rin Chao Du Ballet Coaching. Thank you for, for you to be here with me and I wanna say hello wherever you are. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. And uh, before we start, um, please check your surroundings, especially to see if there is anything behind you that um, clear your way so you have a free, uh, secure place to work, okay? Let's rev around before we start. Let's do first exercise, plie. Let's start with first position. During preparation, keep our arm down. Yeah, just stay calm and then keep the arm down. Then we do élanger one and two, relevé three and four. Grand plie six, seven, eight. Pull the bra forward and two, come up, arm to first position and four. Tendu and six, arm down seven and eight. Repeat, élanger, relevé, grand plié six, seven, eight. This time, pull the bra to the side and two, three and four. Tendu, fourth position. Now we do two demi plié with arm, grand plié six, seven, eight. Pull the bra inside arm. Head, follow your left hand all the way to the back. Make sure two arms at the shoulder level. And tendu and fifth. We do grand plie, two, three, four. Grand plie, two, three, four. Arm from second to third. We do one. Flat back, reach out, two, three. Arm up at first position. Then pull the bra back. And six, seven, and eight. One thing at a time, nice and easy, and feel the beautiful plie, knees over the toes. Okay, let's start, please.
go to the left side. Please make sure when you play in fourth position, we have easily uh, have a tendency to, to do this. You see me? Very easily. That's why I have a reflection. I have a big TV here to guide me, to make sure I look at myself, to make sure I don't do it. Sometimes our feelings to our body is deceiving. We feel, we felt in certain ways, but the truth is, we're not. So in this case, I might feel like I'm on both legs, but I look at in the mirror, my bottom is shifted back. I want my hips to be in the middle, between the front leg and the back leg, without tilting back, okay? So please be aware of that. Let's go to the left side. Okay. Let's do. So tendu from fifth position. What do you mean fifth? We do roll one and two, three and four. Could it be five and six? Balance one, seven and eight. To the side. One and two. Three and four, could it be five and six? First position, seven and eight. To the back, one and two, élange three, arm four. The arm and the elbow and knee together. Five, six, seven and eight. Last time, one, two, three, four, one, two, first and fifth and finish. One thing at a time, one tendu at a time. It's a slow speed. Give your body a chance to truly feel the floor, how you reach out from fifth position to the front and how you're gonna come back from, the from tendu, point of foot, come back to fifth position. It is very easy just to become a movement, in and out movement. So let's avoid that. To investigate, heel forward, toes back. Okay, to the back, toes back, heel in. 
yeah, to the side. Also heel forward and then pushing down energy when you come to fifth position. Let's try that, those ideas, please. Prepare. Every time we do tonic combination, I just actually, I thought about what teach, my teacher taught us all the time. I guess something left, just a memory in your head. And when I was uh, the first year or two in school, like 10 years old, 10, 11, my teacher said, after the, after the tonic combination, very slow, I want to use the sweaty. And I was like, that's not possible. You know, this is, this is not possible. Besides, sometimes studio is very cold. I kind of understand what he meant by that. He wanted us to put a lot of effort into the tondu, push the weight to the floor, make sure all the rotation, make sure your shoulders, your back, and make sure everything is airtight, a lot of tension. Yeah, so I don't want to go that dramatic, like after a tondu, you, you, you sweat, sweat coming down your face, unless you're in a tropical environment. Um, but I, I do suggest that we put a lot of effort, take tondu very seriously, and that will set us up really well in the progression of the class. Let's do. Let's do. Bar We do one and two and one, two, three. Fifth and fifth and fifth, fifth, fifth. Coming back. One and two and one, two, three. We do arms. Let's look, uh, go to third. One, two, three, four, five, six. Close back. Seven. Continue. One and two and one, two, three. Side, 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 side. Again. One and two. Clear. One, two, three. Arm down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we finish. Um, actually, let's go to um, a plie and susu. 
Then we're going to cut it here, a little balance, then open to the side and then close back fifth position without a plie. Okay, that goes fifth and fifth. Balance what in plie. One, two, side. Side, side, one, two, three. To the back. One and two. One, two, side. Arm from second to third. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we reverse the combination. Preparation, please. Ready? Stretch your calf. Um, specifically, when I do on day down, first first time, when I do first, 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 consecutively, shete to first position, my arm from second to make sure, from second diligently to third position. Now I have to come down directly, not over. It is so easy to do this. So make sure this hand come down only half your body. Now please, at first position, it's time to open to the side. Yeah, then the other way around, elongé, just right below first position, not all the way to preparation. Underneath first position, lift to first, and it's time to open. So I have upper half, Lower half. Everybody has its own route. Okay, make sure the route of your port bra is clear. All right, let's go to the left side. Let's move on the jump pattern. We do. Um, Elongé preparation. We do one and two. Syncopate one, two, three. Repeat five and six and seven, and uh, eight, and plie one, and two, three, and four, five, and six, little higher, seven, and eight. 
prepare. On the down. One, two, back, back, still elongé. And one, two, back, two, three. And one, two, three, four, five, and six, little higher, seven, and eight. In fifth position, we do pull the bra forward, relevé. Pull the bra back, on the way down, leg to tendu front. Pull the bra forward, and pull the bra back, squeeze, tendu, and fifth. Just that. Okay. So we do front and two, one, two, pull the bra back. You see, two, three. Repeat, one, two, one, two, three. Now watch my shoulder. Shoulder, shoulder, grand round the jump. And one, two. Higher, three, four. And the whole thing on the down. After you close fifth position, pull the bra forward. On relevant, pull the bra back, tendu, forward, leg, pull the bra back, squeeze, and finish. Okay. Let's just give this a try, please. thigh felt the burn you feel the, the, the burn it, it really it's sensation it's it's like burning it's like hot that's when the muscle it's like contract so much and now we stretch a little bit and I feel fantastic this is a great stretch look put the foot on top of your supporting leg on top of your knee and we just give a little bit of a plie and that gives a beautiful stretch of my rotator, like this. I feel really great. At this moment, my right leg is feel literally lighter, lighter my left. So let's work on the left leg right now.
okay, now both my legs are burning. You know the beauty about ballet class, I couldn't really explain it. The more I work, like this is 90 minutes long, normally ballet class 90 minutes long. From the little plie, stretch your feet all the way to ground allegro in that 90 minute span. But you will think during the 90 minutes you will be progressively more tired because you are working out. It's the opposite. The more I work toward the end, the, the, the lighter I feel. The great, the good, I, how well I feel with my, my, with my body, even with my stamina. This is a, really, it's a mystery. Because if I work in the gym for 90 minutes, I think I'm gonna be pretty tired afterwards, if non-stop like this, physical work. But ballet class is different. Toward the end, the ground allegro, you should, you should feel like you're flying. Big jumps. You can never get tired. Actually, ground, ground allegro, sometimes I have to tell the dancers, we gotta stop. It goes on, if you, don't tell, if you don't tell them to stop, if you don't literally stop the music, tell the pianist to stop, they will just go again, again, again. It's a wonderful place to be, really, at that moment. After 90 minutes class, the boys do double tour, girls do manage, ground leg row, beautiful place to be. You feel like so strong. Let's do fondue. And that's, a, that's the feelings that I miss. I think every dancer who uh, retires, and if you ask them what they miss most is those feelings. It's difficult to describe. All right, fondue like this. We do one and two, brush to the back, three, releve, four. Then we do five and six inside leg. Brush seven, this time to coup de pied. Eight and change. One and two, three and four, F five and six, seven and eight. One more. One and two, three and four. Ground round the jump. Brush back and finish. We do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I change the timing. It goes and one and two and three and four and five. This time and six, seven, and eight. Yeah? One, two, brush back, susu, inside leg. Five and six, back, coup de pied, change, and one, front two, and three, four, and five, and six, all the way to the front, little brush, continue on day down. Keep the leg low at 45 degrees. Pay a lot of attention to the supporting leg. Two Plie, I would say honest, true plie. The plie that you can use. The plie that, that puts you on your leg. The problem, the plie is not gonna cause you any problem. The biggest problem is when you plie in fondue, your weight stuck on the heel. At this moment, without the bar, it can be done, you have no balance. Only balance you have is knee over the toes. Now, I feel great. Yeah? And that's where your forte turns. Alasagon turns. Your jeté tonlevé. Everything. Everything. If you plie on one leg in ballet, which has happened all the time, you have to have an honest, true, useful plie on the ball of the foot, your weight. Let's give it a try. And then all that sensation the muscle memory happens now during this particular combination.
stretch your calf. Try the left side, please. Frap that goes like this. We do coup de pied, no brushing. One, two, side, side, side. Back, two, side, side, side. And uh, one, two, and uh, three, and uh, four, and uh, five, six, seven, and uh, and back, two, side, 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 front, two, side, 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 and uh, one, relevé, and uh, three, and uh, four, and uh, side, and uh, side, and seven, and uh, eight. You see the port of we had earlier? This way? This way. Mm -hmm. Lower half, upper half. The first time we did lower half, seven and uh, eight. Second time upper half, seven and uh, eight. Okay. So I have front, front, side, side, side. Back, two, side, side, side. We do and uh, one, relevé two, and a three, and a four, and a side, side, and one, two, three, four, five. Then we do the back, which is one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, and a one, two, and a three, and a four. And a side, and a side, continue the port de bras. Seven, and a eight, and finish. Okay. It's like a puzzle. We put the legs, then we put arms, shoulders, the head, plus the different direction. It's like we put a puzzle together. Yeah, everything has its own purpose, its own value. And then we put them together, it becomes a complete work. Every little thing, it's, it's never uh, have less important. Everything is important because they don't work independently. They support each other. For example, this we do. And uh, one, two, just this movement, 
and a one, two. Without the proper epromon, the shoulder and the head, you wouldn't be right, right? So the leg is great, and a one, two, very direct. And then the beautiful upper body has to be a part of the complete movement. So please pay attention to integrate the in whole body working together. Okay, let's try it. Stretch your calf and we calm down a little bit before we do the left side. This moment is important because after that combination, I'm like here because you have to. I'm like this. I cannot enter the second side, the left side like this. Calm down. I always had a, a towel, but just for the visually for the TV, I, don't, I want it to be as clean as possible, but I always had a, a towel, like a hand towel here. I needed it. I feel like I just need it just for my mind. I always had a foot roller as well. And I roll my feet like this in between combinations. All right, let's try the left side, please. Let's do. Very simple. Run the jump on there. We do. Six, seven, and eight. Single one and two. Three and four. Again, five, six, Seven and a eight. Again, one and two this time. One, two, three, and five, and six, seven, and eight. To the side. On the down. Single, single, one, two, three. Single, single, one, two, three. Single, single, one, two, Three, one, and two. Coupe, coupe, fifth. And finish. Okay. One of my favorite exercises, Rama Jamaler. I feel like if I don't do it, my hip is not really ready for the adagio. I need my hip to be worked like this. Find my placement. And that helps with my turn in retro position. 
and understand the relationship between red to red and your knee. And there's no better exercise than rond de jambe en l'air. Yes, we can be stationary and find balance this way, but doing the rounds while maintaining the relationship between your hip and working leg is a fantastic way to build the strength. And then I feel this leg can be truly connected various positions with my body and my hip flexor is truly warmed. Okay. Let's give it a try, please. Have the knee to the side. True alosagon to the side. This have everything to do with which part of our body is responsible for holding the leg in alosagon position. Now I believe in alosagon position we have to ignite, use your rotator to hold that leg. To me it's more important than hip flexor. However, your hip flexor is being used in the wrong way. It's almost not useful and, and often create problems. Oftentimes dancers hip, hip hurts because they use it in the wrong way. They use it in the places they're not, they're not supposed to. For example, if my leg is not truly alosogon, my rotator, my bottom is not engaged. It has to be in alosogon position now my bottom is engaged. If I move this leg to the front, my, bod, my rotator here disengaged, not helping at all here. So which part of that body is holding this leg? Is your hip flexor. So we have to, you, we cannot abuse our hip flexor this way. That's why we have to open to Allah Sagan, let your hip flexor to be extended, to be released, to be flattened, then your rotator is take over the responsibilities. Yeah? Of course, when the leg is devon, in the front, 100%, your hip flexor, everything. The minute I go to the side, engaging your bottom. When you leg it to derriere, Hip flexor is completely, not only relaxed, but extended, stretched to allow this leg to come up as far up as possible. Beautiful curvature. And your rotator and your back is responsible for holding the arabesque leg. Yeah? Not this way. You see, your hip flexor is stagnant. I want to be open. I want to be released. Free of unnecessary stress. Yeah, use the right muscle to execute. So that's why I say correct way is always the best way. The correct way is always the easy way. Easier. Okay, let's give a try the left side, please.
stretch. Let's do in fifth position. We do arm leg together, relevant long. One and two and three under four. And lunge forward. Beautiful pull the bra, the left arm reaching forward. And you come back. Seven. That's a PK. Arm seven. A carte derrier eight. Then we fifth position. This is a whole 360 degree suchinu. My head is spot right above my left hand, right here. Suchinu and a carte derriere again. Then uh, we have plié scoop, a face devant, through fifth position, through fifth position, grand round de jambe to the front. And left side. One, two, three, and four. And five, and six. Arm back, seven, and eight. Prepare. One, and uh, two, three, and uh, four. And five, six, seven, Eight. Okay. Let's give it a try, please. This is when you listen to teacher's corrections. <laughs> this is when the teacher is talking. <laughs> and to be honest, sometimes I, I listen to voice of teachers. To be completely honest, sometimes it doesn't go in 100%. It does not. Teacher talking. And but the voice itself, if the teacher I love, yes? If the teacher is I love, the voice, I have nothing to do with, you know, good or bad. Every teacher is good. Every teacher has something to offer. Every teacher, believe me. But if the ones I love, the voice itself is calming. Very calming. It's very reassuring. Let's just put it this way. Reassuring. To tell me I'm doing okay. They don't have to praise me. They don't have to praise and tell me how great I am. No, that's not teacher's job to praise in you. But teacher's job is support, to guide you through. Sensitive, I always appreciate sensitive teacher. Understand the state of my physical body, state of my mind, they can read. Like if I'm doing this, 
you know, teacher will be like, it's okay, okay, take a deep, take a breath. It's okay. Just that. It, it, it's soothing, you know, it's very, that's why teacher and students have a very strong relationship. They, they have very strong bond. And uh, I wanted to be that kind of teacher, to be honest with you. I wanted to be a teacher where even sometimes I don't even need to say anything, but my physical presence is provide that enough reassurance to provide that confidence. Basically say, you will be okay. You will be fine. I'm here. You're doing okay. You're doing just fine. That is like a gold. That's the gold. But in the opposite side, what we shouldn't do as an educator is um, knowing the students needed that little lift. Knowing that, but not able to provide for various reasons, for various reasons, it can be a hundred different reasons. Um, but I wanted to be the ones I can provide the security, security. Teachers, students have to feel secure. They cannot not feel secure in a classroom because it's too hard already, yeah? All right, move forward. We do. We do one and a two, three and a four. Five and uh, six and uh, seven, eight, just that. Back and uh, two, three and uh, four, five and uh, six and uh, seven and uh, turn to the left side. Okay, so one more time. We do one and uh, two, three and uh, four, five and uh, six and uh, seven. Back and uh, tonu, back and uh, fifth, side and uh, fifth and uh, tonu, ground bama, and turn to the left side. All right. Ready? to check the clock. Wow, look at that, five o'clock. <laughs> it's become a little game for us here. Well, it wasn't 100% perfect. You know why? Because we started at 4.02. We started 4.02, so 60 minutes should be 5.02, but it's five o'clock. Um, thank you, thank you very much for always supportive encouragement that I receive every day, every day. People communicate with me and, and share their stories of learning ballet, share their uh, challenges, their battles, and share their good stories, good news to me. And uh, thank you from bottom of my heart to including me as a part of your learning journey and um, as a part of your professional career i am cannot be more 
cannot be happier to be there. And in return, I feel your support. I feel your care. And I truly appreciate it. And um, I wanted to be a part of this community and I wanted to be a part of your journey. And in return, you are a part of my journey as well. So let's support each other and take care of each other and uh, moving forward together, thrive together. Thank you very much. See you next time.